I don't know who needs to hear this, but all grades in the end are really just numbers. So even if your school uses letters to give you a grade, those letters are just symbols that in the end work out to be numbers. So if someone asks you what's your GPA and you have grades in letters, you still have a GPA. All you have to do is convert the letters to numbers first and then average them and then that's your GPA. And if you're confused because you don't know which numbers correspond to the letters for your grades, all you have to do is look up a chart that does the conversion for you. So in this case, I looked up a letter system for the US. You can do this same kind of chart for any grading system anywhere in the world. All you have to do is look up the right chart and then convert your grade from the letter into the numbers and then into the GPA. That's it. And by the way, when you apply to an American university, this is exactly the same process that the admissions office uses to convert the grades in your transcript into a GPA that they calculate independently. They don't take your word for it when you list the GPA on your application. In fact, they assume that your school will probably either do it incorrectly or do it using a weighting that they probably won't agree with. So what admissions offices have is their own conversion system that basically does exactly this. It takes whatever letter grades you have, no matter where you are in the world, and it converts it into a number.